Yo guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazvin. My name is Vincent. Uh, Vincent is not your average nurse. This is where we get to talk matters medical without using a uh, lot of medical jargon. Uh, in a simple language which everyone can get to understand. And that's why it's important that you get to like the video. Uh, give us a, a nice comment down below. And also share it widely. Because by doing this, you get a larger population of the people, especially the YouTube community, to get us and also get such vital information as the one we're going to share today. Today we're going to talk about ma ma matters uh, thyroid. And in our previous video, I shared something on hyperthyroidism. But today we're going to talk about the 10 superfoods that can heal your thyroid. Today I'm going to talk about the 10 superfoods that can heal your thyroid. Guys, sit back and watch the video. So, maintaining thyroid health is very crucial for overall well-being. And if you've not watched the previous video on thyroid, kindly watch it. Because I talked about the function of the thyroid and how hyperthyroidism comes in and what it means for you. So guys, uh, from our previous video we talked about the role of uh, thyroid especially in the matters hormonal balance and also how the controlling also how the body works in various ways and, uh, and uh, it's all in our lives. So if you've not uh, watched the video, kindly you will miss a lot. But because today I want only to focus on the 12 superfoods which can improve or can heal your thyroid. Thyroid is very important in our body and uh, the thyroid is normally found here on the neck. And uh, it has a very vital role for both male and female, in both male and female. So guys, sit back and know and hear those, these superfoods. So when you talk about thyroid and also uh, and its health, uh, like I've mentioned, it's very crucial uh, and over in overall well-being of us. And it's also, also as the thyroid gland plays a role uh, in regulating metabolism, energy levels, and also hormonal. Uh, levels, so mono levels or balance. So I'm going to talk about the 10 superfoods that can support the thyroid health. Number one is what we call sea, 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 uh, seaweed. Uh, seaweed. I don't know if you know about the seaweed. I'm going to attach the photo here of the seaweed so that you get to see it. So when we talk about the seaweed, it is very rich in iodine, which is essential for the production of the thyroid hormones. Guys, from the previous video, I shared the details on how thyroid is produced and the relationship between iodine and the thyroid. So very crucial. So the, when we talk about the, the, the seaweed, is very rich in iodine, which is essential for the production of the thyroid hormone, including variety like uh, uh, what you call kelp, what we call, we call nori, and uh, wakame in your diet. It's very important to improve the iodine levels. Number two is what you call Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts, so I'm going also to attach it here. When we talk about Brazil nuts, it's very important that we get to know uh, because it's very high from my previous video, which I shared. It's very high in selenium, and the selenium is crucial for thyroid hormone metabolism and the protection against the oxidative stress. So, very important. Uh, Brazil nuts are very high in what you call selenium which selenium is very crucial for thyroid uh, hormone metabolism and the protection against the oxidative uh, uh, stress. Number three is fish. Because of the content of the omega-3 acids and iodine, fish are very high in this. So fatty fish, when I talk about fi uh, fish, I'm not talking of another fish. Apart from the salmon, I'm talking about the mackerel, I'm talking about the sadness, which are rich in omega-3 uh, and iodine, so supporting the thyroid function and also reducing inflammation at the end of the day. Number four is yogurt. Yogurt, and I'm talking about the, what we call probiotics content on the uh, on the yogurt, uh, because yogurt and iodine, probio the probio probiotic in the uh, yogurt it helps improve the gut health, which is linked to better thyroid function, and the yogurt is also a good source of iodine. So it's something which I also discovered 
that yogurt really yeah, is high in iodine. So guys, this one also gets to protect your thyroid uh, gland. Number five is eggs. Because eggs contain high level of iodine and also selenium, eggs contain both these nutrients, so essential for thyroid hormone synthesis and also metabolism at the end of the day. Also berries, berries, number six, berries, because of the, they contain high antioxidants. And when we talk about the, uh, the berries, we're talking about the blueberries, strawberries and other berries rich in antioxidants which can protect the thyroid from oxidative uh, process. Number seven, uh, you may be surprised, I'm talking about spinach. Spinach, yes, spinach. Because it contains high magnesium and iron levels, so both means are, which are very vital for thyroid uh, health. So spinach is also high in other essential nutrients and also antioxidants. Number eight is pumpkin seeds. Yes, pumpkin seeds. When you talk about pumpkin seeds, they are, they are very high in zinc, essential for thyroid hormone production and uh, conversion. So pumpkin seeds are a great source of zinc, so it's very, very, very vital that you get to take those pumpkin seeds. You don't only take the pumpkin, normally it's a common practice where one takes only the flesh part of the pumpkin, so that uh, you leave the, all the fresh part of the pumpkin and you leave the seeds. Seeds are, are really a good source of zinc. So, so because and this is very important the production of a thyroid hormone production and conversion so and the greatest source of this is uh, the pumpkin seeds i think now you know guys also garlic yes garlic it, garlic has anti-inflammatory uh, components and also it has selenium so garlic helps uh, uh, reduce the inflammation and support the immune system which can benefit the thyroid health at the end of the day. Number 10, uh, very essential, avocado, 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 whichever way you call it, is healthy, it contains the healthy fats and also antioxidants, which avocados are rich in uh, healthy fats which reduce uh, inflammation and it has an antioxidant properties which protect the thyroid gland. So also on this, as much as you take the 10 foods, for foods which I've talked about, we want to also to encourage additionally the things which can also help you. Hydration is very important, where you ensure water intake for, to support overall metabolism is very important, guys, where you, because water is used in the metabolic process, and the thyroid is involved in a lot of metabolic processes, so we want you to take enough water. We talk about six to eight glasses of water in a day, very important for your health guys so also another another thing which is very important as much as we're talking about these foods we don't mean that you only take those foods we want you to take a balanced diet where maintaining a balanced diet is very crucial uh, with a variety of nutrients uh, to support overall endocrine health so we don't look you don't just focus on the thyroid we want you to take that uh, enough or balanced diet so that you get to support overall endocrine health. So by incorporating the superfoods into your diet, this can help you to uh, support the thyroid function and overall health. So however, it's also best to consult with your healthcare provider for, or a dietitian to, for personalized dietary advice, especially if you have existing thyroid uh, conditions. So guys, uh, and uh, so how do you manage apart from the foods what are the other managements involved in maintaining your thyroid health so managing thyroid health is a combination of dietary choices lifestyle adjustments and uh, regular monitoring so here are the key strategies to effectively manage your thyroid function because of the importance of the thyroid the, your thyroid is very important to have these strategies that you improve the health of your thyroid. Number one, I've mentioned about balanced diet. And when we talk about balanced diet, we're talking about nutrient-rich foods, especially foods rich in iodine. I've talked about the seaweed and dairy also, selenium. We've talked about Brazil nuts, fish, uh, which contain omega-3 uh, uh, fat acids, and zinc. Also, we talked about pumpkin uh, seeds, and also not leaving the legumes on this. 
Also, the balanced diet, we are talking about antioxidant-rich foods, which uh, consume green leafy foods, uh, green, uh, uh, green, green leafy vegetables, also consume uh, berries, uh, which are and other antioxidant-rich foods to protect your thyroid from oxidative stress. Healthy fats, so we talk about healthy fats such as the avocado, nuts and uh, olive oil especially, is very important to reduce uh, the, the inflammation. So avoid uh, goitrogens. Uh, when we talk about goitrogens, I'm talking about uh, cruciferous vegetables. Uh, you should limit them. I'm talking about uh, uh, things like broccoli and cabbage especially. If you have hypothyroidism, they can interfere with your thyroid hormone production when consumed in large quantities. So it is very important that you avoid goitrogens like uh, the, uh, uh, what you call broccoli and the cabbage because they may interfere, especially in people with hypothyroidism, it can interfere with hormone production when consumed in large quantities. Number two strategy for your thyroid health, we talk about regular exercise. And when we talk about regular exercise, I mean physical activity and also stress reduction. Engage in regular physical activity, including uh, aerobic exercises and strength training to support strength training, training to support uh, metabolism and overall health. On stress, stress reduction, we talk of things like yoga, meditation, uh, tai chi, which can help manage the stress which they impact the thyroid function. Number three is about med uh, medication adherence. So follow prescriptions, very important. If you, are hyper, hyperthyroid, uh, you, are, you have the hyperthyroidism. So follow your doctor's prescription or your healthcare provider instructions. Do not skip the doses or adjust without the consultation. Consistent timing, so very important. Take thyroid medication at the time as directed each day. Typically on an empty stomach to ensure consistency of absorption. Also, number four is monitor uh, thyroid function. So regular testing, where have your thyroid being tested regularly to monitor the levels of thyroid stimulating hormone. We talk, we talk about TSH, and we, in this we talk we, we check normally the T3. You can see your healthcare provider writing for you T3 and T4 check. Also track symptoms, keep track of symptoms you experience and discuss them with your health care provider. Also, <clears throat> number five, on managing your uh, thyroid health, we talk about managing stress, where, where we talk about uh, relaxation techniques, like incorporate stress-reducing stress practices, we talk about deep breathing exercises, meditation, mindfulness into your routine, Balanced work life, where maintain balance between work and personal life to minimize stress. Also, we, uh, we encourage sleeping adequately, 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night to support the overall health and also hormonal balance. Number seven, avoid uh, environmental toxins. We talk about uh, you reduce exposure to environmental toxins like PPA, pesticides and other endocrine disruptors that can affect thyroid function. Also, use of natural products. Uh, by this, opt for natural or organic personal care and cleaning uh, products. Number eight, stay hydrated as a way of managing your, th your health of the thyroid, where I drink plenty of water throughout the day to support the metabolic processes and overall health. Also, avoid smoking and excessive alcohol. We drink alcohol in moderation if you should drink. Uh, that is uh, when necessary or stop it. At the, at the end of the day for your own benefit. So quit smoking. Uh, smoking can adversely affect the thyroid health and so, so seek support from especially your, your, your support groups and also your healthcare provider so that you may leave smoking. Number 10 is about consult your healthcare provider where you go for regular checkups uh, and discuss the concerns regarding your thyroid health. Also seek specialist advice. If needed, consult the endocrinologist, endocrinologist to, for specialist care. Endocrinologist is the one who looks at the glands and hormones, how they behave in our body. So it is good also if you need that specialized care from endocrinologist, you can also get that care. By incorporating these strategies, you can better manage the thyroid health and also reduce the risk of uh, complications associated with the 
uh, thyroid dysfunction. So always consult with your healthcare provider uh, for professional or for personalized advice uh, and treatment uh, plans. Unfortunately, we have some complications which are related to thyroid health, and we talk about uh, and I talked about this in detail in uh, in our in our previous video on hyperthyroidism. Kindly, if you not check on it, you can have a look at it. So, but uh, we have things like goiter as complications of uh, under uh, underactive, uh, of especially in hypo hypothyroidism or when uh, the thyroid is underperforming or underactive thyroid complications. We have things like goiter, where enlarged thyroid comes in with persistent low hormone levels can lead to, to enlarged thyroid gland causing goiter. Heart problems may come up because high cholesterol, uh, hypothyroidism can increase the LDL or the bad cholesterol levels leading to atherosclerosis and also risk for heart disease and heart failure. And but this is about mental health issues where we have depression. Uh, because of unsuited hypothyroidism, this can cause depression and slowed mental uh, function. Cognitive decline can also come in, especially in hypothyroidism, may lead to memory problems and reduce cognitive function. So number four is about peripheral neuropathy as a complication where we have nerve uh, damage because of the long-term hypothyroidism, because this damage of the nerves leading to numbness, tingling, or pain in the affected area. Number five is about uh, what you call infertility at the end of the day, unfortunately. Yes, when you talk about uh, the infertility. Yes, number five, we can talk about uh, infertility. So, uh, because of the reproductive issues, because low thyroid hormone levels can affect ovulation at the end of the day, and it can lead to uh, infertility, especially in women. But defects, because developmental issues can come up, and treated hypothyroidism during pregnancy can increase the risk for birth defects, uh, developmental issues, and intellectual disabilities in the babies. And also, we have what my what we call my eczema, my eczema, where we have a severe hypothyro uh, hypothyroidism. These are real life threatening conditions characterized by extreme cold intolerance, drowsiness, and also pro profound lethargy, and also unconsciousness. Uh, also, another on the hyperthyroidism now, those are on the hypothyroidism I've mentioned, or when we have overactive thyroid complication, uh, over thyroid, overactive thyroid or overfunctioning of the thyroid, we have heart problems especially, we have what you call tachycardia. Uh, fast heart rate or irregular heartbeat can, can come up, what you call arrhythmia, and also palpitations. Heart failure can come up because of the long-term hypothyroidism can lead to congestive heart failure. Number two is about bone problems, especially when we develop osteoporosis. With excess thyroid hormone can lead to weakened bones and increased risk of fracture due to decreased uh, calcium and also uh, because of the calcium absorption is really affected. Number three, we may have, when we have hyperthyroidism, we may have eye problems, what we call graves of uh, ophthalmopathy, where swelling and inflammation of the eye muscles and also tissues leading to bulging eyes, redness, and also vision problems. Number five is about skin problems, where we have uh, graves, uh, 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 when we talk about uh, uh, skin.